Hi, welcome back to Raunchy Reality Recaps. And in this video, we're going over Christine Brown and Cody Brown from Sister Wives. Now, since we last caught up with them, Christine's engaged to her new man, David. And apparently, according to a U.S. article they had from sources, Cody is a little bit upset. Now, he says he's upset because he doesn't feel okay with his daughter living with his daughter who was 13 with christine is living with christine and her fiance because they're not married now i find that very funny seeing how um wasn't he technically not married to christine for all these years now i get a lot of parents would have an issue with this you know, and I understand that you possibly don't want a new guy or girl living with your kid at the time. And I completely understand that. And that is, you know, it's understanding. However, I mean, they've been, it looks like they've been together for a while. And the fact that, I mean, number one, again, with the marriage thing, he was never legally married to Christine. So if he wasn't concerned about having a legal marriage with Christine and it didn't make a difference to him and it didn't bother him at the time, you know, I don't see why it bothers him now besides, you know, a few facts that we're going to talk about in a second. But also, now that I'm thinking about it, it didn't, um, Robin's kids live with Cody and they weren't married and everything, you know, because he was still married to Mary. So why was it okay for you to do that with another man's kids, but it's not okay for this man to do that with your child? So, I mean, it's a little bit hypocritical there. And the other fact of now you care about your kids, you didn't care when your other daughter had major surgery. You never showed up, even though other other people made it happen. Other people, I'm pretty sure, were the same situations. They made it happen. It's just that they weren't Cody. And they didn't decide to use that whole thing, you know, that happened a couple of years ago or still kind of going on. Don't want to say it on YouTube, but he made an excuse for that. So, yeah. He now cares about his kids. Now he's worried about his kids. But before all these other years, whatever, dude, it's okay. And also the article states in there that when Christine and Cody on the other seasons were arguing about, you know, her moving and leaving him and he was wanting 50-50 custody, even Christine said, you know, he didn't... He, he don't care about spending time with kids before he's not going to get 50 50 custody and it's true like why should you you didn't care about ha seeing your kids ha even half of the time before so why because you're no longer with christine so yeah again he now he wants to show that he really concerned about his children but all this other time he wasn't so coming into that i really just think it's about two things him of course being a narcissist but it's also about his him wanting control and i think you know narcissists 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 have like of course that control factor which again i'm not a doctor so i'm just going off what i see what i pull up what i read whatever so yeah i think a part of it is his control because he can't control christine now that they're not in a relationship so of course now that she's in another relationship the only way to control her is through the kids which again this is not an uncommon situation for a lot of relationships so it's not like oh nobody would ever do what cody's doing no I, a lot of people do a lot of people that are very, very controlling in a relationship, they are going to grasp at straws to control you. And then, of course, that the, a lot of times when you have kids, that's the best way to control the other spouse or partner. So, yeah, I think a huge amount of it, he wants control. He will still wants to have whatever little control he can over her. And why? Because he, again, the other factor, he is super jealous. He, I mean... He is 
jealous. That's all there is to it. Christine was able to move on and find somebody 10 times, actually, I'm sorry, 100 times better than Cody. So he's completely jealous. We all know this. And also in the article, it states that David doesn't really care for Cody, which, or doesn't like him, which completely understandable seeing how he treated her all these years and how, I mean, that's it. Just how Cody treated her all these years. Like, of course, you're not going to like somebody that you love like treated somebody that you love like crap so yeah so david don't like him and now cody's seeing all these things that he's never done with christine he's never done with his family that he had with christine now she's able to do that with somebody completely better than him she's able to go and to disneyland go out on a romantic dinner day something cody didn't want to do with just i mean <laughs> I, I without her at all not even just her with the other wives but mostly like just her and it's sad and Cody has to face that and another thing again I'm just going on with this video because I haven't been on here in a while so I'm just trying to catch everybody up but another thing is that I think he's jealous of the fact of what David can provide for Christine they have this nice house they have, I mean, it's nice. It's got a wonderful view. And he's able to provide her with a nice wedding, which we know that Christine never liked her wedding. Um, it, her dress looked like a pillowcase and she didn't like it. And it was awful. And I felt bad for her because she was so young and cute. She deserved a lot better. Now she's getting a lot better. And again, Cody's jealous of that. Cody's able to get jealous of David, who I think um, I read he was... Uh, owned his own construction company so he has a nice business I mean of course he's able to provide nice things and Christine was actually able to um quit one of her MLMs which I think is a Lululemon Lulu oh, I can't remember it's either Lululemon or Lululemon it's one of those which it has to do with clothes but y'all know so yeah she was able to quit that so instead of you have this man like cody that wanted all these wives but yet he couldn't financially take care of them so these women had to go out and work and everything and you know he wasn't taking care of the kids on the other side where they were working he's probably doing whatever he wanted to so you have a, co a man like cody that makes his wives all this wife's worse because he can't afford all these wives that he wanted and then you have a man like David who's able to provide enough that she is able to actually quit one of her, her MLM. So she doesn't have to work as much so she can enjoy life because guess what? This man gets it and Cody don't. So yeah, y'all, I, I know that was a lot. No, it was a lot, but yeah, this is, um, oh, this is nice. I like this. I, I mean, I can't wait for the next season, can y'all? Because if we get a episode with David and Cody meeting, oh my, because I know we're going to have episodes where Cody's just complaining about, you know, everything that Christine is doing and, her, you know, all the other wives, you know, never take accountability. But it's nice to know that I had a little slice and dice action where it had an end right there real quick. But just to get back to it, yeah, I can't wait until they meet with each other and they meet up on the episode because I think that is going to be a, a huge rating. Oh gosh, I can't talk to you. Huge ratings boost for the network. So y'all have a great day. Um, I also got some HBO Max or whatever, and it looks like they also give you TLC and they have all the episodes of sister wives and all that so if y'all want me to go back and look at the episodes and recap them for you i can't really record them but i can take some screenshots and um yeah just recap the old episodes if you want me to do that let me know y'all have a great day bye